Getting these scholarships was such a huge opportunity. I received the EMS Foundation Scholarship, the PTO West, and the Jared Hardy Scholarship. And they're just all such a huge blessing. And receiving these scholarships just makes it possible for me to go and get an education that I want to and be able to do the things that I want to do, like pursue architecture and just being able to go to college and experience all those things. It's such a huge blessing. The Diane Wynum Scholarship was really an honor to receive. Um, Diane, she was a fantastic teacher. She was really enthusiastic about her students and being able to see her students succeed. Uh, I got two scholarships, right? Both related to my field of computer science, so which I'm grateful for. I know that I have a special for a local scholarship for it is that they expect me to do great things and I'm glad the school has and Will Cock as well has recognized my effort and I will make them proud. Receiving the scholarship made me feel honored since it is a merit scholarship and it just showed that like all my hard work like finally like paid off. It felt like all the work I've done over the years to prepare for engineering was kind of like accepted. Like I finally made the next step forward and I'm finally going to where I want to go in the future. The Green Scholarship really showed that this is my passion in life, this is what I want to do, and engineering is what I love. So qualifying for the swim scholarship that Mr. and Mrs. Kunzelman offered was a pretty great feeling knowing that like I was chosen for that scholarship, it means a lot. I put a lot of time and effort into the swim team and not even knowing like if I was going to get a scholarship or not, like having that scholarship meant the world to me. I really appreciate your support and your help in getting me through college just so I can follow my dreams and get the job that I really, really am looking forward to. So thank you very much. One of the scholarships I received was the Betty and Donald Jones Scholarship and it was funded by Miss Hood. Um, Miss Hood, I played volleyball with her daughter Rachel and she was always the sweetest girl. She was one of the type of girls on the team who just made you feel like you're in place and it was a scary environment as a freshman. She was the nice senior and I can never thank her daughter enough and Miss Hood is always there and has her back and would just brighten your day and it means so much to me that they take me for the scholarship. I'm really honored to receive the Dalton Bailey Memorial Scholarship and I'm glad to know that there is so much of a community uh, and so many people around our community uh, know how much uh, that band and music um, mean to so many people and the students of this school and other schools. I was awarded the Martha Pittenger Scholarship which goes to English majors and I have always wanted to write a book. Even in like second grade, we, me and my friends, we all made this kind of like little picture book together and we wrote it out and our teacher printed and bound it and I think she kept a copy for herself in her um, own classroom library. So I've always loved writing and reading. I like obsessively went to the, scholar, the scholastic book fairs and would like get stacks of books and go to the library. I would spend like every morning in middle school at the Highland Library just reading and writing. Thank you Mike and Janet Green for giving me this scholarship. I'm very thankful as I look forward to going to college next year at Texas A&M. Uh, I texted my parents immediately after finding out that I received this scholarship and they're just as excited as I was. Um, I was hoping to receive something but such a big donation was very kind and very helpful and to hear that it was from you, um, the Crafts, was also incredible because the pre-AP program, um, I've been in it throughout as long as I could and it has been very helpful making sure that I was ready not just for the AP programs but also to get good scores on the exams and to proceed to college when I'm ready for it and so just thank you very much it's incredible honor um, knowing that I had won scholarships and like figuring that out was such a blessing to have that from other people that are willing to give us that money to just spread our wings and go into education. Um, by receiving the Eastside PTO, thank you so much, and the Merit Scholarship, I really do appreciate all of the help. And that nursing scholarship really gave me the reassurance that what I'm taking, taking nursing as a career is the right path for me. I just want to help people, and I really do appreciate all of the people that are helping me reach my goal. To the Lexi White Memorial Scholarship donors, I want to say thank you 
so much for giving me this opportunity in being able to fulfill my college dreams. I was really excited when I learned that I got the Justin's Leadership Scholarship. Uh, it's really cool to know that people think that I'm a leader. College has always been something on my mind, and especially scholarships. Um, I don't really know how college will work out for me, especially. And I just needed the support and I needed the motivation to um, go for what I, I want to do. And when I realized that there were people who, um, who read about me from just a, a paper or just my application and believed in me, was, it was really lifting. I received the Gary McKinney Memorial Scholarship. He was like a grandfather to me. I have known him forever um, and his wife, Debbie McKinney, she was my mom's secretary at Watson. They were like my grandparents, my second pair of grandparents. It meant the world to me to get this scholarship. And the other day, Debbie actually called me and congratulated on me and we both cried together over it because it was such just a moving moment to be able to be that part of my community and the fact to receive a scholarship from someone who meant so much to me. And I will forever be grateful that they were a part of my lives. And I will use that scholarship to give back to my community in ways that I can't even imagine yet. When I found out that I won a scholarship for becoming a teacher, it just, it made me feel just really just overjoyed. When I found out that I'd won, it was just such a crazy moment that I thought to myself that I really won. I didn't think that I was really in the running for any of the scholarships. I want to be a teacher because I want to make an impact on my students that I will have in the future. So I'm a, a recipient of the PACE scholarship from the Education Foundation. And what PACE has meant to me is it was really really a fun experience and a formative experience for me in elementary school. I started out in kindergarten and went all the way through fifth grade with it. I had so much fun uh, doing the research projects, doing all the activities that we got to do, and um, met a lot of my friends that I still have I met within that PACE program. And uh, my PACE teacher, Ms. James, also was a really important figure in my elementary school uh, time and she was just so uh, encouraging of me and so uh, wonderful to me and basically encouraging me to shoot for the stars. I was very excited to hear that I received the scholarship. The scholarship really comes from the community and from the hard work of parents and people who really do support students and want to see students be successful. So seeing that they see that I'm someone who can achieve something and be successful means a lot to me and I would like to thank um, everyone who's involved in that process. I wanted to thank everyone who helped me win the FE Center Scholarship. I'm very proud and I'm very happy to have it and um, I'm glad to be the first to receive it. The Randall Hatley Memorial Scholarship is probably the biggest honor to have for me personally, being an average student and him being my uncle. It meant a lot just to know that having it meant he was proud of me for graduating, graduating with AVID, and just knowing that I know he would have been very proud of where I'm going and what I'm going to do. Um, it, it's the first person that I called when I knew that I found out that I had received it was my grandmother. Um, she didn't know that I hadn't gotten it and being able to be the first person to tell her that I had received it was probably the biggest thing in my entire life. I was really, really happy to tell her that.